So here's a quick one, a seriously disturbing one that shows you the lengths that some people will go to get what they want in this world. And in this situation, this guy, this husband, finds out his wife completely sabotaged his previous good relationship to get him. And now he's wondering, what the heck am I going to do in this situation? Title. Am I the a-hole for getting mad at my wife after discovering that she sabotaged a former relationship of mine so she could be with me? Psycho. Says here, I'm a 34-year-old mar male married to a 31-year-old female. We've been married for three years and have a dated for about a year before. We have a two-year-old two -year -old, and she's pregnant with our second child. Everything about our lives is absolutely perfect. She is the love of my life, but I found out today something that is really messing with me. My wife and I work together for the same large company. <laughs> That's a bad idea. We were nothing but acquaintances for the longest time. She was just that pretty girl at work who seemed a bit stuck up. We hardly ever talked. I didn't even think she knew my name at all. We were in the same office, dodgeball league for a summer, but that was it. At the time, I had another girlfriend when I was 28 and we met, we met online. She was great, but five months into the relationship, a friend sent me screenshots of an online dating profile with her name and pictures. I confronted her and she overwhelmingly denied it all. But the evidence was right there and I couldn't trust her anymore, so we broke up. Okay. So he saw pictures of her on a dating site showing that she's trying to hook up with other guys, and he said, that's it, we're done. Okay, now listen to this. Just a few months later, I started dating my wife after we had matched online. We never even had a full conversation before matching with each other online. But suddenly there was that spark, and the rest was history. We moved pretty fast, and uh, we both wanted to uh, settle down, have a family, and she's a wonderful mother to our kids and the love of my life. So this is around... The his uh, wife was probably in her mid to late 20s, ready to settle as they're all ready to speed things along as 30s coming up. But recently I found out that she had sabotaged my relationship with my ex all those years ago. By following my private Instagram with a fake account, saw photos of me and my ex, stalked her account, and took pictures from her private Instagram to upload to a dating app, and the rest is history. In other words, she got a bunch of pictures of her, made a fake dating profile, under under his uh, ex's name, let the word get around, and then obviously he he uh, found out about this through a friend, and then thought she was cheating and broke up with her, even though she denied it, it was her, probably breaking her heart, and in comes this woman who's going to be his wife. This is some psycho-diabolical stuff. Now imagine finding this out about the woman you're married to, who you have a child with, and who's pregnant with your second, you assume is your, your child, right? How I found out was after she got her new iPhone for her birthday, and she gave me her old phone to erase and sell online. Uh, one of her burner Instagram accounts was the exact same profile that had followed me right around the time of my breakup. She's still following me and my ex with that account. She probably forgot to unfollow. I was really freaking. It was really freaking weird, and I confronted her. She confessed to everything, but kind of blew it off like, "Oh well, I had such a big crush on you. I did what I had to do, and it worked out, didn't it?" See. No remorse whatsoever. She's ruthless. I admit the way she blew it off was strange to me because she's a sociopath. I told her I don't know who she is anymore. She got upset with me and said, so you value a five-month relationship over your wife. Twisting it around, gaslighting, making him out to be the bad guy here. And said that we, we were meant to be. I got really upset and called her crazy which led to her crying in our room and refusing to come out. Drama queen. So what happens when this guy does something? He stays married to her. What happens when this guy does something that she doesn't like or she's ready to get rid of him? Do you imagine what she's capable of doing to destroy this guy? Think about it, right? I don't know what to think. My friend is telling me just to, go, to let it go that if anything, it's a cute story to tell the grandkids one day. Oh, uh, well, smack to your friend. Your friend's a fucking jackass. Are you kidding me? She's nuts. She's psycho. But it just creeps me out that she had always given me the cold shoulder before we started dating, but all the time she's obsessed with me to the point of sabotaging my relationship. She's never done anything else dishonest or sneaky to my knowledge, so this is wildly out of character for her. Uh, no, it's not. She is showing you what she, want, she wants you to see. I'm sure no one just becomes that sneaky and that dishonest overnight, that diabolical, because that takes some serious plotting. Because it wasn't just her doing that. That was some stalking your girlfriend, 
and making sure certain people knew this to spread it around to got back to you. This is some serious, ruthless planning here, man. I don't know how to word it. I guess it's nothing. Maybe my friend is right. Smack, jackass. What do you guys think? Was I too hard on her? Should I just let it go? Smack. No, you weren't too hard on her, and you don't let it go. You need to figure some shit out. You can't be married to her. Again, what is she going to do to you if you start doing things she doesn't like? What could she do to your kids if they are your kids? I would seriously reconsider getting out of this. It's three years. You're not married that long. Yes, you have a kid together. Another one on the way if, in fact, is your kid. I'd be getting a DNA test on uh, the future child and your other kid, Pronto, and finding an exit strategy. You cannot be married to someone like this. But here's the problem. Hell hath no fury, and I guarantee he goes through this process. She's going to do everything she can to make him look like the fucking villain. But he can't be married to someone like this. Now, real quick, some comments before I wrap this up the show. I'm not alone in my thinking here. One guy says here, uh, everything about our lives is perfect. He's quoting this guy. This girl has been playing chess while you're playing checkers. She saw what she wanted and had had no ethical, moral issues getting it. One day you will find the curtain and look behind to see what's really going on. Not the a-hole. Another guy says, she's manipulating and gaslighting you. Immediately go goes to, so you value her more than me. Nope, the issue is you found out, and she's manipulative and calculating. The ex isn't relevant. It's the fact that you found out something new and very worrying about your wife and how comfortable she is being manipulative. She knew that. She knew what your issue was with her, so she immediately tries to shift to being about you liking your ex and valuing her more. Of course, because she's a master manipulator and liar. Not the a-hole. Also, the friend thinks that this will be a cute story. They are damaged in the head. That will only be a very creepy story. Hey, remember when your grandmother was crazy as fuck and lied to spread rumors about a grandpa's ex so they could break up and get together? Yeah, she's crazy, manipulative person. So cute. Exactly. Now, one more. This is longer, but this guy's right. He says, not the a-hole. Her behavior and reaction are scary. She ruined your relationship for a chance you would get together. She stalked you, hurt you, and made you think that you were being cheated on. Hurt your ex, then hunted you down while you were vulnerable from the breakup and took advantage of you. Right. Right. I didn't think about that. He was probably heartbroken that his ex was cheating on him, and she swooped it, slithered in. That's a better way to describe it. Slithered in and scooped him up. Your whole relationship is based on lies and obsession, and then when she confronted about her actions, she's acting like it was nothing. She's trying to guilt you into letting it go by trying to deflect and make it about your, you prioritizing your old relationship when it's entirely about the evil things she did and sees nothing wrong with it. Yeah, tell this story to like some people in this family. See what they have to say. Well, as long as they don't act like, well, what about the kids? As far as she's concerned, she got what she wanted, and that's all that matters. And when confronted with her actions, the only thing she feels is jealousy against the other woman. So again, she's manipulating you to get her way. This is uh, ominous, ominous as fuck. If she feels zero remorse for lying and harming people as long as she gets what she wants, how can you trust her? She's proven to you that the only person that matters to her is herself. Your heartbreak at thinking you were being cheated on is or was irrelevant to her. She decided you were her property and hurting you in order to get what, get it was acceptable concern to her. Can you truly just trust someone like that? What lengths will she go to get her way in the future? What lengths has she already gone in your life together that you don't know about? Can you trust her not to continue to hurt or manipulate you or your kids because getting what she wants overrides moral decency in her mind? You can't even say this out of character for her because the truth is you found out that you don't even know who she really is as a person. Amen. I could have said it better myself. So there you go, guys. Do your homework on who you're getting involved with. And this is why you've spent years. And look, this goes to show what people are capable of. So absolutely, this guy should not be with her. But he is better be careful. Holy crap. And I guarantee you, already she's planning. By him bringing this up and knowing it's on his mind, she's already planning plan B, C, D, E, and F in case of what he may do. I'm sure she... I can see her literally going to every lawyer's office in every town for 50 miles to seek counsel and therefore he can't go to a divorce attorney and other sneaky tricks like that i can see her documenting things making a journal made up bullshit that he did to her just it's gonna be this could be a whole horror movie shit i should take this and write a screenplay for a horror movie here but anyhow there you go guys i wish this guy luck